I'm Perry Apollo. My guest this morning, Dr. William Sunstein, who is a board-certified diplomat on the American Board of Neurosurgery with a special interest in complex spine surgery. Dr. Sunstein is the chief of neurosurgery at North Shore LIJ Hospital in Plainview. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you today? I'm fine, thank you. Right. Um, tell me, you know what, I always like to begin by uh, learning a little bit about our guests so that our listeners have an idea of who you are, where you're coming from, what you're all about. So tell me, a, a little bit about you. How, how did you get interested in medicine? Um, there was nobody in, in my family who was uh, in medicine. Um, I guess it just uh, my interest in, in school uh, sort of lended itself uh, with you know interest in science. I guess to uh, that sort of interest, and uh, I just pursued it. And uh, uh, in, in college, I decided to go that direction and uh, apply to medical school, and, and 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 went to medical school, went to Temple University in, in Philadelphia Medical School. So that was like a, a, six, a long program there? You stayed at Temple? You started undergrad or you wound up there for medical school? I, I went to undergraduate in, in Brandeis uh, uh-huh. in, in University in Boston. Um, and, uh, and, and then I went to uh, Temple University in Philadelphia where I grew up actually in that area. And uh, after that, I did my residency at Albert Einstein in, uh, in the Bronx. Nice. Um, in neurosurgery. And then after that, I did a, a year of fellowship at the University of South Florida in Tampa. Uh, at Tampa General Hospital, just specializing in spine surgery for that year. So now, what was it about neurosurgery in particular that pulled you? I, you know, when you're in medical school, I guess you sample a whole bunch of different specialties. What landed you as a neurosurgeon? Um, well, initially, there was, a, there was a neurosurgeon who came over and, and uh, gave us some lectures uh, in medical school. And the, the guy's uh, personality um, and the, the way he described what he did uh, interested me. And I went over and saw, uh, actually wit- you know, witnessed some uh, surgeries, uh, what he did. And it was just very fascinating, uh, particularly the, the stuff that he did on the brain. Well, I was just uh, going to ask you, that. describe what he did, because I'm not sure everybody exactly understands what neurosurgery is. Well, neurosurgery is, is the, the, the management, particularly the surgical management of diseases of the spine and the brain. Okay. Um, and um, that can involve uh, any, anywhere from taking out a brain tumor uh, to taking out a herniated disc uh, in the spine um, and, and basically the entire spine, uh, including the neck and, and, the, and the lumbar, the lower spine mm-hmm. as well. Uh, in the brain, there's uh, all kinds of problems that can occur, um, not only brain tumors, but also uh, brain vascular problems like things like, uh, such as aneurysms, uh, treating them, operating on them. Uh, and also uh, different types of problems like what we call functional neurosurgery. People have chronic pain. Mm. Um, there are things we can do surgically to actually help people in chronic pain. Uh, so it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a very interesting um, range of problems that we, we take care of. Yeah, sure. I don't even think I would have made the connection from the brain to the spine. Is that just because the nerves that run up the spine, that the whole thing is connected? Yes. I mean, really, I mean, it all starts in the brain. I mean, that's where you... You perceive things, um, and uh, basically from the brain you have the uh, the brain stem, which is the the lower part of the brain, and then you have the spinal cord. And out from the spinal cord uh, comes the nerves, and uh, the nerves supply the muscles and the skin and the sensation, and uh, and and basically anywhere along that whole axis, uh, we treat and we deal with problems that occur on that. So now you do deal with the entire continuum, but you yourself are a spine specialist. I, I used to do actually brain surgery and, and quite a bit of it, um, and certainly when I was trained and when I first started out in private practice here um, in Nassau County, I did a lot of brain surgery, but uh, that's just because the nature of the group was such we had to take care of all problems, not just only restrict it to one, but sure. as our group grew and we hired more and more people, uh, it afforded me the ability to, to really specialize in what I actually had specialized in uh, after residency. And that interest is the spine and, and that for is, you. Correct. Um, I understand that while dealing with that, one of the subspecialties of that, if we could call it that, is the treatment of heavyset patients with spine issues. Is that is that a, a specialty of yours? Uh, that's actually kind of an interest in mine because um, uh, one of the things I was taught was that um, if a person really has a true problem uh, with their spine, uh, that um, 
is, requires surgery, uh, heavy people tend to do just as well uh, as, as those people who are not. Um, so is, there a, is there a conception that they wouldn't? Well, because of, uh, basically because of their weight, uh, you would think that they would have more problems after surgery. Um, they can, but in terms of their actual surgical outcome and the relief of their pain, for instance, um, is oftentimes very successful and, and as far as I'm concerned, just as successful uh, if they really do need the, the, the surgery. The problem is a lot of surgeons um, sometimes uh, back away from people who, who, are, who are heavy uh, because, of the, because of the technical issues in, in dealing with them surgically. Sure. It's, I guess it's harder. It's hard to get in there to do right. what you have to do sometimes. But um, uh, because of where I trained and, and the range of patients we saw, we, we saw a lot of heavy people. And it just basically, over time, um, you learn how to deal with those things. Well, you know, that kind of makes me now ask the question, does being heavier obesity, obviously a huge problem in this country, are there issues uh, for heavier people that would make them more likely to have problems that would lead them to you? Yes. I mean, a lot of heavy people have problems with their spine because of the extra extra weight and the forces on the spine over time. So they do get into problems. The problem is is that uh, for them to lose weight is very hard if they truly have a surgical problem. Sure. I guess because um, then your mobility is limited, that you're having issues that would prevent you from taking the weight off that at the same time cause the problem that you're there for in the first place. Right. It, it, it prevents them from exercise. Yes. to lose the weight, which is, which is an important thing in that. Um, sometimes there are ways of, if you have to operate on somebody who, has, um, who is heavy, then uh, there are medical ways of, of managing their weight, um, uh, f- uh, at least prior to surgery, uh, to at least allow them to lose 30, 40 pounds in a, in a really? relatively short... Really? How do you do that? <laughs> well, I mean, there's, uh, there, are med- there, are, there are medical weight management centers mm. um, in the area that actually uh, deal with that. And, with um, pre-surgery weight loss specifically? Yes. How does that work? Well, they can, they can put them on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, basically a drink called OptiFast, which okay. is a, uh, you know, so basically... So it's a medically supervised fast. But it's medically supervised, not like you know, just you know, stay on a liquid diet you know, on your own. Sure. I mean, it's managed by a, a physician. And, and, and ancillary staff to, to basically get them safely to lose that weight. But, you know, it doesn't always work. And, and, and basically, um, you know, you're faced to have to kind of deal with it. And, and, and then you, you have to just, you know, take care of the patient um, despite their weight. Sure. Now, are there post-surgical issues that differ based on how, uh, how much a person might weigh? Yes. Um, uh, basically, heavier people are are, are more subject to um, to wound issues uh, after the surgery. Oh, really? Um, and, and basically, you have to be aware of those things. Uh, occasionally, we enlist the help of plastic surgeons to help us close wounds if we feel that there's going to be a problem, because sometimes they can close the wound in ways that eliminates dead space better in, inside the multiple layers of as you can you know, of, of the person's wound down to the spine. Sure. Um, that can help eliminate um, um, basically. Uh, potential problems with infections. Mm. Um, you know, basically, heavier people are, are more difficult to mobilize um, after these surgeries. Uh, these surgeries sometimes are uh, basically they're painful uh, to a certain degree, sure. uh, particularly in the lower back. Um, and, um, and getting these people mobilized and getting them out. Oops. As far as rehab after? Rehab, physical therapy, getting them just out of bed after mm. these types of surgeries is a little bit harder and more challenging. So seeing, a, seeing someone who specializes in something along these lines is beneficial in that instance. Yes. All right, so I mentioned earlier that you are, uh, I know I want to talk about the private practice that you have in a minute, but um, you are the neurosurgery chief at North Shore LIJ in Plainview. What do you do in that capacity? What does the head of neurosurgery at a major Long Island hospital do? Um, basically, uh, we, you know, we, we, we help uh, to manage the program um, with, along with the other surgical specialties um, to try to coordinate with the emergency room, um, Basically, make sure that the uh, the operating room is, is up to snuff, has the equipment that we need, um, take care of any issues or uh, any patient issues that, that might occur, um, and, and basically try to make sure that the hospital uh, um, helps support the, the, the and be an advocate for the for the actual neurosurgery program. Um, North Shore Plainview, we don't do really a, a, a lot of brain type problems. A lot of that is, is basically sent to uh, North Shore Manhasset to, to be managed. Uh, we concentrate mainly in spine. Uh, the unique thing about uh, North Shore Plainview for me uh, as a neurosurgery chief is that we have an excellent relationship with the uh, chief of spinal surgery there, uh, who's an orthopedic surgeon, um, Dr. Richard Obedian, and, and we, we work together on pretty much all of our spine cases together that we do there. 
Um, 